Andre Dudat to take the corner kick. Delivery at the back post, it's not handled well! A mistake from Caprile! And Federico Bonazzoli was there to bounce! Verona won, Empoli nil! Just over 15 minutes remaining. The deadlock finally broken. How do we to give Frosinone the lead? Sweetly converted and the perfect possible start for the newly promoted side. Raspadori of Seaman in support. Raspadori nearly worked the way of Seaman. Zielinski's drive and now Politano. And it's gone through to Rati. Napoli have the level up. And having scored from open play on the opening day of last season, Matteo Politano backs the equaliser here at Frosinone. Politano seeking out Di Lorenzo. It's like a runaway train once he gets going. Di Lorenzo, Ossime! He's back. Napoli needed digging out of a hole, so they turn to last season's capo cannoniere. Rachmani, Di Lorenzo and Ossiman. Can he back his second? He can. It's Napoli's third. And with that, maximum points for the champions, surely, on the opening weekend. It was his goal which gave them the advantage. It's his second, which has surely given Rudy Garcia a winning start here at Frosinone. Into the box, still Biraghi, twisting, turning! Uh, five minutes on the clock, and it's Cristiano Biraghi who punished Genoa last time they met in Serie A with a brilliant brace, and he leaves his mark once again against the Rosso Blue. Still with Brecolo, spreads it out wide. Gonzalez has a go from distance, and then Bonaventura on the rebound! Uh, Three days short of his 34th birthday, an early birthday gift for Giacomo Bonaventura. Doubles the Viola's lead, pouncing on the loose ball. Swung in by the Viola number three. There's the header. And there's Fiorentina's third of the night, Nico Gonzalez. On the first night that he dons the Number 10 jersey for Fiorentina. Bonaventura thinks about letting rip and in the end uh, goes for the right option. Crossing it for Rolando Mandragora and surely puts the final nail in the Genoa coffin. Who knows, reignite faint hopes. Can the Rosso Blue claw a goal back? Got it back into the mix by Frendrup. Uh, and they do get a goal back as the flag stayed down. It's Biraski, of all people. The defender, an unlikely goal source. A first ever goal in Rosso Blue colors on his return after a lone spell in Turkey last season playing. Dumfries is in, 2-2 two, two aim at Lautaro! Inter's new captain, same old result. The Argentinian deadly from close range. And Inter have their first goal. Mkhitaryan. Marco Arnautovic. Puts it into the perfect area. That's how you make a debut. Serves up the assist for Lautaro Martinez. And Inter set to win this first game.
Belotti this time makes no mistake. And he is definitely back. Relief all rounds, and none more so than for Il Gallo. An entire season without scoring a league goal, but he scores on the opening day of the season this time around. Candreva, dangerous position. Candreva, let's fly! Antonio Candreva, the eternal Antonio Candreva. Never seems to age. And once again, the big man for the big occasion. Ball comes out wide again, and Bradaric can cross. Kandreva, the back post, away from Kristensen. Oh, my word! Antonio Kandreva cannot stop scoring absolute wonder goals. Pereira swings it in, good delivery, headed toward goal! And who else but Andrea Pelotti? The man for the big occasion, so often throughout his career. And he's proving that he can be a real asset for Roma this season. Taken short, the corner kick, deep ball in. In towards Galvini, now Ruggeri. One on one with Missori, played back in, great ball in! And then on the rebound, Scamacca into the side netting. But the initial effort did go over the line. And Atalanta, they've huffed and they've puffed. And they blow down Sassuolo. Just uh, come on, Adopo. Still Adopo. Out wide. This is uh, Zortea, or oh, how about that? And it's the substitutes that have won it for Atalanta in the third minute of added time. Atalanta have wrapped up the win. As Luis Alberto, Ciro Immobile. First game of the season. You know there's going to be a name on the score sheet, and that name is Ciro Immobile. Olfis, Basquinotto ahead of him. Gallo, prime position for the cross, pulls it back. Olfis! Nothing less than let it deserve. And the Swedish swinger swings in the equaliser. Baschirotto's crossing. Squared, Di Francesco. They can't clear it. And it's gone in again. Di Francesco have turned it around in the space of minutes. Given away here to Vlahovic, and now it's Chiesa. Chiesa's effort! Two minutes into the new season, on the ground where he scored on the final day of the previous campaign, Chiesa shows he's fit and above all firing. Vlahovic to give Juventus a two goal lead. No mistake from the number nine. He got a brace on the opening weekend last season. He is fit too. And Juventus' front two have got their pair of goals. Chiesa. There's that change of pace. Campiaso delivers. Rabiot's waiting. And Rabiot scores Juventus' third. In added time at the end of the first half. The game is already seemingly won. He was prolific last term, the Frenchman, and he adds to earlier goals from the front two here. And it's another lovely Bianconeri move. 
Pulisic. Giroud wanted the early cross. Pulisic now delivers. And Reinders round the back. Giroud is there. It only took 11 minutes. And Milan have their first goal of the new season. For all the new faces, it's one of the existing cast on the score sheet. Olivier Giroud, so dependable. And just over a month shy of his 37th birthday, he keeps on banging them in in the Italian top flight. Pulisic, another. Here is Pulisic! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant on his debut! The American star shining so brightly for Milan. Christian Pulisic involved in the first goal. He scores the second and it was all his own work.